when I was walking with my walker, people would say, oh, what happened? Did you have a stroke? Uh, no, I have MSA. Oh, what's that? You know, is that MS? You know, they, everybody always says, is it MS? No, it's not MS. They'll say, oh, is it Parkinson's? I say, no, it's not Parkinson's. It's kind of, it, 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 it's sort of like Parkinson's. It's, it has Parkinson's and it's plus. I was starting to have things happen to me that at first I thought was just old age, but it got to be more than just old age. And so I started looking up more closely because I was in good health. Going to the doctor for different things was new. It took me six years to finally get a diagnosis. Once I was diagnosed with MSA, I went to my PCP. He says, what did the neurologist say? He says, well, I have multiple system atrophy. He says, what's that? Multiple system atrophy is one of really a group of diseases that we call neurodegenerative diseases that involves some deterioration of cells within the brain causing a variety of neurological symptoms. Anything that our body does automatically is malfunctioning. Our blood pressure is erratic. The digestive system doesn't work properly. My heart rate dipped very low, caused me to need a pacemaker. I was in the investment world for 30 years. I had traveled throughout the country and gave over 100 speeches. I wasn't able physically to keep up. Once I officially thought something was wrong, although a lot of doctors thought it was in my head, they sent me for MRIs. They came back negative, which again is usually the case. Some of my doctors thought I should quit work and I was kind of like, well. I've probably seen 25 doctors. Hematologists, neurologists, psychiatrists, infectious disease, the doubt from the doctors, that it, it must be in your head. It was very, very discouraging. Multiple system atrophy is a little less well known. We need to do a better job of educating other neurologists and other physicians to recognize when someone who has been initially diagnosed with a disease such as Parkinson's is beginning to deviate from the expected progression of disease and consult a specialist so that the appropriate diagnosis can be made. I started a business because of my daughter. She was 17 when she died of juvenile Huntington's. There were no homes that really had any experience with Huntington's disease, and I wanted to have a business where the owner of that business would go to any extent to take care of their child because that's what I wanted and needed when my daughter was sick. And I accomplished that. <laughs> and MSA took that. And I hate it for that reason. I had a couple goals since I had been switched from one world to another, and that was to bring funding because people have faced financial hardship. They're in need of very expensive equipment. Like everything, it takes money. The MSA Charities Loaner Closet is a place where people can go to try to find equipment that they cannot get through their insurances or they don't have funding to buy equipment. This disease is so devastating. We must find uh, what's causing this disease. We must.